Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. In this video, we are going to solve question 12 of the GATE 2022 chemistry paper, which is based on Corey, Corey Fush reaction. Now, this is a reaction that is similar to the Wittig reaction. Okay, what we do in the Wittig reaction? The aldehydes or ketones. Okay, aldehydes or ketones, they are converted to what? They are converted to alkenes. Okay, similarly, here also, we will convert this aldehyde to alkene. Okay, the question is the major product in the given reaction is Q. Q is the major product. The mass spectrum of Q shows. So, it is a combination of name reaction as well as mass spectrum. So, first we have to find out the product Q. And then we have to find out the relative intensity of the M, M plus 2 and M plus 4 peak. Okay, so let us start. So first step is formation of the elide. Okay, the intermediate here is elide. Okay, so how do we start? First is PPH3. The PPH3 has a lone pair and we have CBr4. CBr4. So this will attack at the carbon and Br will go away as a living group. So what we will get is we will get PPH3 positive charge and C Br Br and Br. Okay, now the next step is the Br minus that we had uh, that had gone as a living group that will attack Br plus. Okay, this will take Br plus and negative charge will be left on the carbon. Okay, so what we will get is PPH3 carbon having a lone pair negative charge, this phosphorus having positive charge and then there are two Br groups. Okay, this is the intermediate that is violide, violide or elide and Br2 will go away as a living group. Br minus has picked up Br plus. Okay, Br2 goes away as a living group. Now, this elide will react with the aldehyde PPH3 plus C minus Br, Br. Okay, so this I can write it like this, aldehyde. Then there are one, two carbons and then there is methyl and methyl. So what will happen? This will attack the carbonyl carbon, this will open up. What do we get? Okay, this carbon, carbon-carbon double bond becomes carbon-carbon single bond, then H, okay, and then we have carbon, Br, Br, Okay, then this is attached to PPH3 plus. Okay, and on the other side what we have? Here we have that entire group that is 2 carbon, methyl, methyl. Okay, now what is the next step? Next step is formation of oxaphosphatane. Okay, this will attack PPH3. What we will get? We will get a 4 membered intermediate. Okay, a four-membered ring. This is called as oxaphosphatane. Now, what will happen? Phosphorus oxygen bond is very strong, so this will break like this. We will get triphenyl phosphine oxide will be removed. Okay, what we will get? I'll write down the final product at the top here. C Br Br double bond then carbon, hydrogen and then we have this R group, 2 carbon, methyl and methyl. So you can see this is the final product Q. Okay, this is the final product Q and here there are two Br atoms and bromine we know there are two isotopes, one is bromine 79 and another is bromine 81 and if you see the isotopic abundance, the ratio of both of this is approximately 1 is to 1. 
okay so now we have to find out the intensity ratio okay so we have got the product q now we have to find out the intensity ratio okay so let me erase this so there are two br atoms so what i can do i can write m m plus 2 and m plus 4 okay so m m means the the mass is exactly same as the molecular mass okay so what we will get br we will keep both the br are okay there are two br and both the br will have mass is 79 okay mass is 79 that is why we will get the molecular ion peak that is m plus peak okay now we have to increase the mass by two two units so there are two possibilities one br i can have like this that is 79 br and other br i can have i can increase the unit by two units okay i can have 79 br and 81 br or i can have 81 br here and the second atom is 79 br okay then m plus 4 how can i get mass plus 4 then i have to what i have to do i have to increase the mass of both the bromine atoms by two units so 79 plus 2 is 81 and the second atom also 79 plus 2 is 81 okay so these are the possible combinations of the two bromine atoms so that we get m plus m plus 2 peak and m plus 4 peaks now how do you find out the intensity ratio the intensity ratio is okay, intensity ratio how do you find out the intensity ratio multiply the isotopic abundance of both the bromine we know both the bromines are what they are 1 is to 1 79 is to 81 br they are both 1 is to 1 okay so for m plus it will be 1 for this and 1 for this so 1 into 1 okay then ratio then for m plus 2 79 br 1 into 1 okay then we add okay plus the other combination 81 br is 1 into 79 br is also 1 okay then ratio then m plus 4 m plus 4 is again 1 into 1 okay 81 br is 1 so 1 into 1 so 1 into 1 is 1 okay 1 into 1 is 1 plus 1 into 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 and this is 1 into 1 1 so if two bromine atoms are present then the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 okay so what is the correct answer the correct answer is going to be m m plus 2 m plus 4 with a relative intensity of 1 is to 2 is to 1 the correct answer is option a i hope you have understood the mechanism of Fourier push reaction thank you so much